This is the first of the two covers on the bonus tracks. Little little band from Australia, you may have heard of them. Uh, Aka Daka. ACDC. This is a track called If You Want Blood. You got it. It's off the Highway to Hell album, which is, well, it'd be my personal favourite ACDC album, I'd say. Just absolute crack of an album. If you don't own it, you should probably go get it. First time we played this song live, it was actually at a Bon Scott tribute night. Yeah, it was his birthday celebration, I think. Um, yeah. And it was uh, a bunch of bands in Melbourne that got together and put on a big night to celebrate the great man. We didn't change much when it comes to, you know, covering a song. You can't really change a lot with an ACDC song. It's almost sacrilege. We, we played it a bit faster, I guess. But other than that, we just ripped it out like ACDC would live, I guess. Yeah, it just stayed pretty true and just... You know, um, meat and potatoes, rock and roll. That's what they're all about. But it's just a great song, you know, like, it's just, um... If you haven't realised yet, ACDC influenced us a fair bit. And I think they've probably influenced every band to ever come out in the last 30 years. Pretty fair to say, I reckon. A rock and roll band, yeah. In one way or another. But, um... The reason we chose this particular song was probably just because it's lyrically it probably talks about us a bit, you know, in a way it's sort of just like being on the street and four dudes in a band just trying to not die. And that's that's that sums us up pretty well, so I think you appreciate when you go to record an ACDC song, you appreciate it so much more because you know they sound simple when you sort of listen to them, but like when you sit down to record it, you realise that to get it right and to do it justice is just not an easy thing to do at all. I think, I think the gaps in between the, the chords and the riffs are what makes ACDC what they are. The chemistry between the Young Brothers, I mean, no one else on the planet can match it, you know, it's just the tightness between their, in their playing is just phenomenal and uh, to try to imitate that, I mean, you can't really. With Angus's solo, he always starts low and builds his way up. Benny didn't play Angus's solo as such, but he did emulate a lot of his, his ideas. Yeah, he sort of used that sort of formula in a way and yeah, made it, it his own. Keep it ACDC like, but yeah. put a bit of Ben Laguda over the top. I remember in the studio when I was uh, you know, doing the drum track here and I, I wanted the toms to just be huge. I said to Ricky, man, you just got to make those sound like thunder. I think he did a pretty good job there, just absolutely giant. Yeah, it comes through a lot more in yeah. that, that bit there, yeah. It's become a, a bit of a favourite for us to do live. I guess, I mean, we do other covers as well, but this one's a real party anthem, really gets everyone involved. Yeah, you can, you can play it anywhere, and pe you know people are going to know the song. Like, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a classic song, and it's all around the world. You can play it anywhere to anyone, really, and then yeah. it, kids love it, old guys love it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> One of the little things we changed from the original is the outro. We we added another rock out bit here, just just to keep it going, give that live feel, I guess. Put another quick little solo at the end. Wouldn't be a massive interpretation if we put if we didn't put another solo in. That's yeah. kind of what we're about. That's if you want blood, you got it. And if you enjoyed that, wait. Go for buy it. the album Highway to Hell. You will fucking love it. By ACDC.